It's been two steps forward, one step back. That's what explains the newly formed Glasgow Climate Pact as a result of COP26 that concluded last week. So the fact that the world's top leaders from over 100 countries came together to discuss one problem shows that we do recognize the emergency that's facing us. However, there were lukewarm commitments, there were political stances, there were seemingly competing priorities that made it look like we may not make the progress that's needed, or at least the speed with which it is needed. At the top, sadly, there cannot be anything competing. Nothing can compete with survival. So the top priority has to be reducing greenhouse gas emissions, reducing surface air temperature. But when it comes to how to's, we have to deal with some really delicate decisions that are to be made. For example, how do we continue to invest in food and agriculture systems to ensure food security, while making sure that the net impact on climate is less than what it has been? This would require serious political and corporate willingness. This would also require massive investments in innovation, climate-friendly climate, climate friendly technologies, and climate-sensitive decision-making in supply chains. The announcement of five commitments by Prime Minister Modi, what he called Panchamrit, uh, is it lays a good set of goals for India. A number of leaders from other countries also made board commitments. But all of this is dependent on global commitment to funds, which will support on one hand mitigating climate harming practices, but on the other hand adapting climate friendly measures. In all of this, we cannot forget that there are vulnerable people who today benefit from the current existing food and nutrition systems. Then there are those who are underserved and excluded. And of course, then there are those who face massive food insecurity because of increasing droughts, fires, floods, all as a consequence of climate change. So a lot now depends on, on the detail, how our actions follow our promises. Our actions as governments, corporates, and the civil society would reflect both our sensitivity and our foresight. <laughs>